Four years ago, I was happily riding my bicycle when, bump, I fell off the bike and got a deep laceration on my knee, which prevented me from walking normally for a month. The wound was so deep that it was closed by surgical sutures, but to be honest, it didn't hurt that much. But the only thing that I did when I take a look at the open wound and that much blood was just screaming and panicking. Guess what? My family wanted me to become a doctor, specifically cardiologist, of course before that accident. But have you ever seen a doctor terrified by the open wound and blood? I have not either, and that's why I'm glad that I was injured, which made my family finally realize that they could not make me become someone that did not fit with my own interests and capabilities. I am someone who became from dance, to, from dance coach to teacher, from teacher to lawyer, from lawyer to business manager, etc., but only in my head. And as an exchange student who is a little older than you and who already went through all of this by doing a lot of research, I, 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 I'll um, tell you some steps that I followed which helped me to pick something from this entire world. And I hope it will be helpful for you too. So step number one, engage yourself in diverse, diverse activities. Do not confine yourself to a specific role or interest. Even if you already have some big pictures of what you want to pursue, don't be afraid to don't be afraid to push yourself into doing something new because every time trying to do new activities will and getting out of your comfort zone will help you expand your horizons um, now walking through different possible uh, acti walking through different different activities and doing things practically will also make you be more competitive for let's say for your future job and I remember that during the past two to three years, I was applying as many different activities as possible, sometimes not, not even going into details or sometimes asking myself, why in the world I applied? But the more I got into them, the more diverse backgrounds I gained. Even the program through which I'm here, I decided to apply just randomly. And I got into only after three trials. The first try was forced by my mother for the second try, I was like, okay, I'll do, I'll apply, just in case I got in. But I got in from the third and the final try. Imagine if I didn't force myself and I didn't use my own personal principles to help me make it here. So now other step that you might, be, you might want to follow is doing things practically by, for example, visiting some business companies or schools, getting familiar with their inner atmosphere or their, inner, their own work style. What if you like it more? What if you find the more suitable path that, you, that will make you feel more comfortable and which you will enjoy? So now, when we have a general idea of possible opportunities, the next step that you want to do is sifting the most relevant ones for you. Now think about it. Is it something beyond your own capabilities or interests? To figure that out, let's use a realistic approach here. It's possible that you might enjoy doing something, but you, if you cannot, if it does not fit your own capabilities and interests, you cannot do that just because you like it. You have to work for it, and you have to strive for it. You have to find the best fit for you. Can you become a professional basketball player or coach just because you like watching basketball play games on TV? No because it takes some time, effort, and experience. And that's what I'm saying. Start from smaller career goals and then gradually enhance. And another achievable way to discover your passions is taking a look at others' experience that are working in the same in industry that you are interested in. But never judge yourself by, by looking what, what, if they like it or not, if they're doing it correctly or not, because you might be doing it in a better way. What I'm saying is that look at the work they're doing and look at the responsibilities they have for that job, for example. Do you think you can handle it? Even if you don't, it's never too late to repeat these steps all over again because that's what I did. I myself repeated this cycle for five to six times at least when I finally decide what major I need for, for my future job or future goals. So 
Um, another thing that I would suggest you doing is but, but being more specific about what you want to do. Chase the details and find the mission. Get into it. Picture yourself already working there because the more you know about it, the easier it will be for you to understand what do you need for your future. And not just like me, only after getting off the bike and then deciding, understanding that becoming a doctor is not my cup of tea. So we don't need injuries and we don't need victims for choosing our future profession. As you could see, everything starts from surrounding ourselves with diverse activities and getting into them. And believe me, believe me, it will lead you to getting more and more interest and skills and experiment, experience, and which will, give, which will also give you a wider range of selection. So once you find out what you love and enjoy doing, the, the smooth flow of the process will proceed itself. Thank you.